what you're essentially doing is you're taking the energy produced by the combustion or the oxidation of that hydrogen and you're liberating electrons in the same way that a solar panel liberates electrons, in the same way that all energy generation is about the flow of electrons and electric fields. That's what a fuel cell does. It's essentially like taking that explosion and, and doing it in a very controlled kind of way inside what we call an electrochemical cell. Sure. Um, but some of the problems with that, I, I would say the biggest problem with that is fuel cells typically use a lot of rare metals, things okay. like platinum and iridium. Oh, very common, I've heard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you ever tried to buy a, a, you know, a, a platinum ring, you probably okay. know how expensive platinum is. Yeah. Will it be that 10 years down the road, we've found ways to eliminate uh, elements like platinum and iridium, you know, those catalysts from the cathodes and anodes of fuel cells? Probably, that's typically the, the progress of technology. Okay. But I, it's just like one of those kind of fundamental limitations that like, for example, batteries don't have. Batteries, you take the electricity, you put it in, you don't have to worry about the electricity leaking out or exploding or anything like that. And for the most part, the materials that make up batteries are pretty abundant. There's no platinum or iridium in yeah. your average lithium ion I mean, battery. I mean, right, like lithium is kind of the big, the yeah, big in the news. that's way more abundant than okay. these rare elements like platinum. 